Retail gaming devices have exploded in the past couple of years, with both the Steam Deck and ROG Ally being super popular. Both of these are brilliant devices in their own right, but one of the big gripes that owners have is the limited storage options that are available, having a maximum storage option of 512 gigabytes. Now, of course, if you've got the Steam Deck OLED or the ROG Ally X, you do have options up to one terabyte, but what if you need more storage? What are your options? Well, you could, of course, use the micro SD card, though for bigger capacities, it gets very expensive quite quickly. So let's show you another way using the newly released and super fast Crucial P310, which is available in capacities up to a whopping two terabytes. We're gonna use the Asus ROG Ally with the standard 512 gigabytes NVMe SSD and show you how to double the storage with this one terabyte version of the P310. Now, this tiny but mighty SSD has the fastest performance of any 2230 size drive out there. And that's due to read and write speeds of 7,100 megabytes per second and 6,000 respectively, added to the impressive IOPS. IOPS stands for Input Output Operations Per Second, which is essentially data throughput, or how many tasks it can perform in a second. The P310 comes at 1 million, 1.2 million, compared to the next fastest drive that we could find at 800,000, 900,000, making this very impressive. And it gives you a good indicator of a higher performance from one drive to another. So now you've met the drive we'll be using, onto the install. Now, first off, and most important if you're following along with us today, is to make sure that your device is off before you start tinkering on the inside of the Ally. Asus also recommend discharging the battery to 25% or lower and removing any existing micro SD cards before you start work on the inside of the device. Once it's off, flip the Ally around and you'll see these six screws. Using a size zero Phillips head screwdriver, all of these can be removed easily. Once the screws are out, you can use a pry tool or something like a guitar pick or even your fingernail to gain access to the inside of the Ally. After that, you can take a sigh of relief as the most difficult part of the upgrade is done. <sighs> Once the back is off, just to be on the safe side, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery, which you can do here underneath this flap hiding the battery connection, which you disconnect by sliding the retention mechanism, which is this silver part, towards you and then pulling the connector upwards. Now that the battery is disconnected, also underneath the same flap is the SSD itself, which is a super simple swap. All you need to do here is unscrew the drive, slide the drive out towards the screw hole, and there you're done. Do the same thing in reverse with the Crucial P310. And then once your new drive is installed, you can reconnect the battery and put the rear cover back on. Let me get down Now that the new SSD is installed, the Ally needs an operating system, and I think this takes the biscuit for the simplest Windows installation I've ever done. First of all, make sure that your Ally is plugged into the wall using the charger that came with it, then just hold down the volume down button and turn on the device. This will take you into the BIOS of the machine. Once in the BIOS, navigate to the Advanced mode, then under the Advanced tab, you'll find Asus Cloud Recovery. Press A on this and connect to Wi-Fi. Windows will begin downloading and installing. Just note though that it will restart a few times whilst it does this. And that's pretty much it. Once the installation is finished, we are back to out of the box settings for the Ally with the difference being you'll have more space for even more games. And if you're not sure what to do with the drive that you've just replaced, then why not consider one of these? This is an enclosure where you pop it inside and then you can use this as an external storage for any device. If you found this guide helpful, please do let us know in the comments below, or you can give us a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this one. And as always, the links to all of the products that we've mentioned will be in the description below and also available at scan.co.uk.